playing cornerback in the National Football League is widely considered to be one of the most challenging positions in professional sports. In order to succeed in the NFL, it's a necessity for cornerbacks to have elite physical abilities. They must be fast, agile, and explosive to keep up with the league's top receivers. To withstand the physical punishment of playing against bigger, stronger players, they must also be strong and durable. In addition to physical excellence, cornerbacks must have supreme mental skills. They need to be able to read and react to offensive schemes quickly, anticipate movements of opposing players, and make split-second decisions. They also need to have a deep understanding of their own team's defensive strategy and be able to communicate effectively with other teammates. Often tasked with covering the opposing team's top wideouts, who are some of the most talented and athletic athletes in the world, these backs carry the expectation to consistently shut down these players and prevent them from making the big play. A daunting task, the pressure to perform at a high level is intense. You might be asking yourself, how does a former high school wide receiver surpass all these obstacles to become the best cornerback in the NFL after his first season? A wise man named Gucci Mane once said, if one does not have the sauce, then he is lost. The story begins with a young running back. Ahmad Gardner was a superstar on the offensive side of the ball, making moves and juking opponents. Curtis Harris, Gardner's Little League football coach, told him, to be the man, you have to inherit this sauce. Harris eventually coined Ahmad's new nickname, A1 Sauce Sweet Feet Gardner, later shortened to Sauce. Those sweet feet helped Gardner become a premier high school football prospect at Martin Luther King Jr. Senior High School, an institution that has produced a plethora of professional athletes, including former linebacker Nick Perry, former cornerback Avante Maddox, and NBA Hall of Famer George Gervin. As a wide receiver, Gardner caught four passes for 126 yards and two touchdowns in the Division II state championship game but also dominated as a defensive back, earning an all-state selection from the Associated Press. A three-star recruit, Gardner received 15 offers out of high school, including universities like Iowa State, Syracuse, Kentucky, and Indiana, but ultimately settled with the Bearcats at the University of Cincinnati, just four hours south of his hometown. Gardner showed out in his true freshman season cementing himself as one of the top corners in the country, with 31 tackles and three interceptions, two of which he returned for touchdowns. He also tallied 11 passes defended and eight pass breakups in 11 games. At the conclusion of the season, Gardner was the only true freshman named to the American Athletic Conference first team, putting him atop the Bearcats' depth chart for his sophomore season. However, his final season at Cincinnati was one to remember playing alongside future NFL starters in Desmond Ritter and Kobe Bryant, Gardner helped guide the Bearcats to a 13-1 record and a berth in the college football playoff. Vegas Strip, the home to the NFL's 87th annual draft. 
the NFL drafts can have a significant impact on a franchise's future success. With the uh, first pick in the draft, the Indianapolis Colts select quarterback, University of Tennessee, Peyton Manning. When a team makes wise draft picks, it can set the foundation for a winning team for years to come. In Miami, Florida, Super Bowl 41 about to commence. On the other hand, poor draft choices can have long-lasting negative consequences with the potential to set a team back for years and even decades to come. The 2022 NFL Draft was like no other before it. This year's draft saw a record nine draft day trades and first round picks, which resulted in less than half of the first round selections being made by the teams that initially owned them. Additionally, nine offensive linemen were taken in the first round, the most since 2013. It's also worth noting, the 2022 NFL draft class was widely regarded as a defense heavy class. Kenny Pickett, was the only quarterback selected in the first round at 20th overall by the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is the lowest selection for a draft's first quarterback since 1997. On top of that, no running backs were taken in the first round for the first time since 2014. Five Georgia defensive players were also taken during the first round, the most from an individual school. Going into the final days before the draft, the dust is starting to settle. Coming off a 3-14 season, the Jacksonville Jaguars held the first pick for the second consecutive year, where in 2021, they selected Trevor Lawrence with the number one overall pick. Jacksonville's needs included help on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. Trayvon Walker, a raw but intriguing prospect coming off a national championship with the University of Georgia, was rumored to be the Jags' guy at number one. And come draft day, he was. The Jacksonville Jaguars select Trayvon Walker, there linebacker, Georgia. The Detroit Lions held the number two overall pick in the draft. And without the talents of Matthew Stafford for the first time since 2008, it was clear Detroit's front office was focused on rebuilding. With Trayvon Walker off the board, Aiden Hutchinson was the next best prospect available. The defensive end out of Michigan coming fresh off a season where he won the 2021 Lombardi Award, Lot Trophy, and Ted Hendricks Award for college football's best defensive end was selected with the second pick. The Detroit Lions select Aiden Hutchison, defensive end, Michigan. The Texans with the third overall pick in the draft was the next team on the clock. LSU's Derek Stingley Jr. was the only rivaling cornerback to Ahmad Sauce Gardner once a key part of Coach O's 2020 National Championship team, Stingley was coming off a season where he only appeared in three games. Surely taking him with a third pick in the draft would be a risky move given many analysis projected Stingley to be a mid-first round pick. But Houston obviously favored the potential and reached for the Louisiana State product at number three overall. The Houston Texans select Derek Stingley Jr. Improving on a 2-14 record, but still labeled as one of the worst teams in the NFL with a record of 4-13. The 2021 season was nothing new to Jets fans. Eliminated from playoff contention in Week 14 for the 11th consecutive season, tying a record set by the franchise from 1970 to 1980. The New York Jets might not have seen any difference in the win column, but this Jets team was turning heads drafting young and exciting draft prospects. Not to mention high potential players like QB Zach Wilson, offensive lineman Elijah Vera Tucker, wide receiver Elijah Moore, and running back Michael Carter. With no specific needs, it was assumed GM Joe Douglas would use the Jets' fourth overall pick to draft the best defensive player available. Names like Notre Dame safety Kyle Hamilton and defensive edge Jermaine Johnson out of Florida State seem to be possible options. But not picking the best draft prospect available seemed a little too crazy to the Jets. With the fourth pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Sauce Gardner, <laughs> defensive back, Cincinnati. 
and it's safe to say both analysts and Jets fans loved the pick. Sauce Gardner is a New York Jet! Waggy Sauce Gardner! I love Sauce. I love his tape. I love his press technique. I love his confidence. He- you were, you're a fan favorite. Everybody was out, around here was just hoping and praying that we would get you. With hopes of Gardner having the chance to be the franchise's next Darrell Revis, the now former Bearcat was a major upgrade to the depth chart at the cornerback position. Technically sound, with athleticism to make up for any lost steps, Gardner would immediately slide in as the Jets CB1, providing his skills to take on a key role in Robert Sala's stifling defense, and the secret sauce to stop a stud-filled passing game in a new-look AFC East. It wouldn't take long for Sauce Gardner to become a fan favorite off the field. On August 31st, he officially signed a major endorsement deal to be at the face of Buffalo Wild Wings. The popular restaurant chain clearly thought highly of Gardner's future and made a huge investment in a player who hasn't even played a snap in the NFL yet. However, the partnership was meant to be. Capitalizing on Gardner's nickname, Buffalo Wild Wings in turn also released a new chicken wing sauce in honor of the Jets rookie. Sauce Sauce While off-field endorsements are a key source of income for athletes throughout their playing career, brand deals typically don't last if you aren't performing on the field. Expectations are tall when you are a top pick in the NFL draft. Often tasked with performing at a high level from the jump, holding the responsibility of helping turn the team's fortunes around, the pressure is overwhelming. While some players thrive under the spotlight, many crumble. However, Sauce Gardner is cut from a different cloth. Not only did he thrive under the spotlight, but Gardner had arguably one of the best seasons of all time for a rookie cornerback. Gardner proved himself as a rookie in 2022, locking up several of the league's top wide receivers, holding Jamar Chase to 29 yards, Tyree Kill to 47 yards and 23 yards. Justin Jefferson, 45 yards. Stefan Diggs, 37 yards. And DK Metcalf, 3 yards. Pretty impressive, right? Surrendering just 33 receptions on 73 targets, in addition to two interceptions, Gardner boasts a remarkable 52.5 passer rating when targeted, the lowest in the entire NFL. He also led the NFL with 20 pass deflections, not to mention only allowing one touchdown all season, and claimed 46 out of 50 first place votes to win Defensive Rookie of the Year over Lions' Aiden Hutchinson and Seahawks' Tariq Warren. Along with a Pro Bowl selection, Sauce was named as a first team all pro player, the first rookie to earn the honor in over 40 years. The resume speaks for itself. And after only one season, the Jets' fourth overall pick has cemented himself as the best corner in the NFL, sitting at the top ahead of well known superstars like Jalen Ramsey, Stephon Gilmore, Jair Alexander, and others. It's been over half a century since Joe Namath last led the Jets franchise to a Super Bowl victory over the Colts in 1968. With the pending arrival of future Hall of Famer, quarterback Aaron Rodgers, and the likes of young talents such as Garrett Wilson, Quinn and Williams, Brees Hall, and many others, Jets fans have more to look forward to than ever before. Sauce Gardner is a focal point of Robert Sala's stout defense and a crucial piece to the Jets' puzzle of success. Winning a Super Bowl is hard. The window to win a championship is often very tight, and teams must make the most of their opportunities. Whether Sauce Gardner will be able to guide his team to the promised land that is a Super Bowl win, truly only time will tell.